All right, I'm going to show you how to make a scatter plot um, given some data. So uh, first thing I'll do is put in a list and spreadsheet page, um, and I'm going to call this uh, XC1, call this YC1. It's important that you actually name these columns uh, for what we're doing. Um, actually, in general, if you're going to enter a list of data, you should really name it. So I have this, and now let's say that uh, my data is 6, 3. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just making stuff up. Negative 4. Uh, 4, 8, 12, and 15. I don't know why these would be our points. Um, and then uh, let's say the y coordinates are uh, negative 2, a 1, a negative 12, um, a 14. I'm just making numbers up, but I'm trying to have some sort of uh, trend in the data, although I don't know, probably don't. Uh, 26. And 35. Okay, so I have all my points. And what I can do now is if I press doc and insert a graph. Okay, what I want you to do is press menu and go to um, graph entry slash edit. And you'll notice that down here at number five is a scatter plot. And when you do that, um, this line down here where it says F1 of X, it's going to change to uh, S1, for, so a scatter plot one. And then if you press var, you'll see a list of all of the things that you can choose. So I want that to be my x coordinate. I want that to be my y coordinate. I'm going to press enter. And when I press enter, um, it kind of creates a scatter plot for me. You can see two of the points. And there are all of my points. Okay, so I don't know. It doesn't look all that linear, but uh, maybe it's kind of linear. So what I'll do is if I go back here to where I entered my data. And uh, in a, the first blank column, really, I'm going to press menu, go to statistics, calculations, a linear regression. Uh, it wants to use uh, this as my X list, but I don't want that. So I clear that out, and I click, and I want actually this, because that's where my X coordinates are. And then here, I want this. And it's going to take the equation that it finds and put it in F1, and that's good. So I press enter. It does all the work for me. Uh, it finds a slope, it finds that. Um, so now what I want to do, so I have a slope and a y-intercept, and it tells you the form is mx plus b, which uh, is what I was hoping for. So if I go over, so control and then to the right to get here, if I press tab, it's still in scatter plots, but what I can do is press menu, and the more you do this, the better you get. Uh, press menu, go to graph entry slash edit, change it to function, go up here, F1, and press enter. And it tries to put the line uh, on the graph. Uh, so that's how you can make a scatter plot, and then how you can find the uh, line that passes through the points the best. So it's uh, it has the least error as it goes through them, or least squared error. It doesn't really matter uh, what kind of magic it's quite doing right now. But anyway, uh, I hope you found this helpful, and uh, good luck.